Hello right back, this is Jay Plays Games. Welcome to the Ark Survival Evolve News. We've got really exciting stuff and we've got some bad news. So the really exciting stuff first is that dedicated servers are coming rentable for PS4. Obviously you know this from following my news videos, but they are actually launching tomorrow. You can see here Jeremy Stieglitz answered my good friend Mike Gibbons here. What time are they going live? And Jeremy has said looking like 3pm Eastern time zone. So that's going to be about 8 p.m. UK. If you don't know, I am running two separate PS4 servers starting tomorrow. One is PvE and one is PvP. So go and check out the link down below to my Patreon site to see how you can gain access. Sadly, it looks like Xbox is going to have to wait till next month to get the actual servers. It's a real shame, particularly as Conan Exiles is having their own rentable servers also go live tomorrow. It's a bit disappointing, I'm really surprised Wildcard didn't think to go through this and get it all confirmed with Xbox way ahead of time. It's obvious that something's wrong. From all the information that I can gather, with not being 100% certain, it looks like it is something to do with Wildcard. If Xbox are allowing Conan servers to run and PlayStation are allowing the servers to run, then there must be something Wildcard haven't actually done to get them ready in time for Xbox. One bit of good news is though that when they do launch you will be able to do play anywhere. Now this has been in the pipeline for a while but Jeremy says yes that will also be supported using Xbox Play Anywhere crossplay. So I presume he means when it launches on Xbox whereas previously they said that would come a little bit further down the road. So I know it sucks guys I know on Xbox you really wanted dedicated servers probably longer than most but it looks like the rentable ones will not be available just yet. And just to give you a sneak peek, there is my PS4 server ready to go. They are all set up, we just need the final update from Wildcard and we can actually make them live tomorrow. Now while the game isn't actually ready, we still need the actual update from Wildcard. But as soon as they update it, as soon as it goes through on the PlayStation 4, we will be able to rent and host our own servers. So if you've not done this already, go and check out the Trado. The links will be in the description down below. They are the official partners of Ark Survival Evolved and the official PS4 server hosts. So I'm going to be playing around with my settings most of the night now and getting them all set up ready for tomorrow. So as soon as we're ready to go I can click start and my servers will be live. I can't wait. But that's not the only thing going on. Jeremy Stieglitz has also said they are putting the tameable Titan Boa maybe in tonight's Ark update. If you don't know, the PC is getting a big, huge performance update. Jeremy has said it's going to come around 1 or 2 a.m., so that's going to be around 7 a.m. in the morning UK time. There's lots going in it. We'll release minor version performance update before then. So if you're on the PC and you're waiting for this update, do not bother. Go to sleep. And included in the update is a huge Ragnarok. I told you guys about this yesterday. It's going to be making the map nearly twice as big with the brand new Scorched Earth biomes. Also coming soon is extra end bosses for Ragnarok. Now whether or not they're going to be similar or they're same bosses from other maps we don't know. It could just be the way Jeremy's worded it. But I'd like to think the Ragnarok developers have been working maybe on their own unique boss fights. So lots of exciting stuff to come. They just need to pull through now. We've got the hype they just need to deliver. And just a bit of information about their actual rentable servers. They can be completely backed up. They've installed a brand new system on it that means it's going to be save data much quicker. And they've also implemented a brand new DDoS system as well. And that's just on the Trado's end. So even if the PlayStation Network goes down, your dedicated server on Arc will still run. Plus Wildcard are still working on their own fixes to the DDoS issues they've had. So it looks like the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox, because they are much more secure platforms than PC will have the security nipped in the bud and hopefully we'll have no more duping or DDoSing. Some really other cool stuff is that the cross arc transfers are going to be able to happen. Currently at the moment on PC you have to have them all on one machine and that's why you have these cross arc clusters where you can only go to them certain servers. But according to my sources at the Trado, why is it really exciting? Well it means if you're doing something like a PvP servers I can join forces with someone like Arc PS4 and we can have cross server wars. All my rat bags versus the Arc PS4 community. 
But I'm not here just to say that, I'm also here to say congratulations to Arc PS4, otherwise known as Gary87. He should be expecting his baby, and I think they're actually in labour now. So good luck, mate. Hope it goes well. So if you're interested in renting a dedicated server, go and check out the Trader website right now. You can set up guest admins as well to take care of things if you're not available. And the settings are pretty much exactly like PC. I may go through in the Trado settings tutorial to show you guys how to control it. But if you've ever run a dedicated server with a second Xbox or second PlayStation, most of it should look familiar. It's just a case of getting used to the different sliders the way they look. So that is it guys. I am got a massive day tomorrow. Arc servers come in. Conan servers come in. Everything's going on. Hit me up with a like. Make sure you're subscribed and you've got notifications turned on to get all the news. And I'll see you ratbags later.